Hello friends and happy Project for Awesome Day! Now there is a fair amount of news that I would normally cover today, most notably the Connecticut shootings and the fallout and the hero stories from that stuff in Syria and stuff all around. But particularly today, the 17th of December, we on YouTube set aside a day to promote awesome in the world. The Foundation to Decrease World Suck, run by the Vlog Brothers John and Hank Green, are having their day for the Project for Awesome, as they call it. And today I want to submit the charity of my choice, which is the Polycystic Kidney Disease Foundation, or PKD Foundation. What is polycystic kidney disease, you may ask? First off, it is a hereditary disease passed down through generations and generations and generations of people affecting one's kidneys. Now, the problem is that when they are born, they have what are called cysts uh, that develop on their kidneys, usually both kidneys, so they don't have the option of just taking out one and the other one just functioning perfectly. And these cysts grow from when you are a child all the way up until you are very much an adult and they get larger and they press on your insides and on your kidneys to where your kidneys fail. It affects very often the liver and the pancreas and the cyst can spread even to where it affects the brain or the heart or both. And it's really just a terrifying disease because everyone who knows that they have it knows that they have a certain amount of time of comfort and ease. And after that period of comfort and ease and being able to do things normally, all of a sudden those cysts that have been building on their kidneys that they can't really do anything about begin to actually fully affect their bodies. They are in constant amounts of pain. Their internal functions start failing and they die generally in a huge amount of pain if they're not able to get proper kidney transplants. It is actually one of the most common hereditary diseases affecting about 12.5 million people worldwide right now. For those of you who watch way too much YouTube, Philip DeFranco of The Philip DeFranco Show and SourceFed, he is affected by polycystic kidney disease as well as his father. But as much as I love Philip DeFranco, he is not the reason that I am submitting this as my charity of choice today. I actually found out very recently that my stepfather, whom my mother married after my father died of completely separate circumstances, my stepfather's first wife actually had polycystic kidney disease and therefore passed it on to all three of my stepbrother and sisters. They're really awesome people, and to think that these awesome people are limited in what they can expect from life because one day, a day that they don't know, all of a sudden their life is going to turn into pain and pain and more pain and more suffering that they can have no control over. It terrifies me to know that they have to live with that terror every single day of their lives and that 12 million other people have to suffer with that same fear or pain or both for their entire lives. And so if you can find it in your heart in some way to donate to the PKD Foundation, to upvote this video, it would really, really make my day and it would make the PKD Foundation's day because they need the money that you can spare, honestly, truly. And I want to thank you for just even just listening to this because it raises you know, awareness and uh, people need to know about all these things that, well, a lot of people suffer with and you don't see it. You know, they don't really present any kind of like exterior symptoms other than just being in pain a lot. So go to projectforawesome.com and uh, upvote this video. Make sure that it gets the attention it deserves as well as any other ones that you think deserve some attention too. I really appreciate anything you do to make the Project for Awesome work, whether it be my video or it be any other video. So go do. Thank you so much for watching Extraordinary Times today. I'm Jeremy, and until next time, be aware. The, uh, words.